what's going on guys so the chart that you guys have in front of you no longer valid you may discard it right now this is why we take full advantage of our la wave analysis over trending waves and it helps us guide ourselves through these markets with patience and discipline now we're looking for the 40215 mark right to hold as resistance in this count for then the markets to roll over in another three waves to the wave five and then ending diagonal now it did not play out like that i told you guys that there was an option this was a possibility but we were also tracking an alternate count if you're new to the channel thank you for joining the alternate uh, the alternate version of this count suggests that we are going to be counter trending this rally from uh march 29th through the May 12th low, right? This is a rally to the downside, and we're looking at it in the three-way format to the, the upside in those wave two. Now, let me uh, um, transition you into our alternate count, and it looks like this, guys. So just a real quick thing here. You guys know that a motive wave is made up of five substructures, right? So, a, so the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five, right? And as you guys know, a trend does not end in three waves, right? So we can't count this zone. The, the zone here, we have to disqualify that as, as another low in, uh, in in that wave one, right? Or in that ending pattern, whatever that was. That's just no way. There's no way that this is the end of an impulsive structure in three waves. All right, five, that's, that's not it. So what I'm proposing here is our alternate version of this count. And this count suggests that we have made a low on May the 12th, ran up into the A wave, all right, sold off into the B, right, and we're making our five waves up into the C wave of wave two. Now we have an expanded flat, right? Whereas we have a three wave up, three wave down, and five waves up, okay? Upside resistance will be 413.18 and 402.39. As you guys can see, we surpassed our first level of resistance at the 23.6% retracement at 402.39. And now we're looking to get up towards 413. Now we can hang around between that sandwich, between those two zones, and that's okay before we proceed to the next leg lower. Now, what are those targets to the downside? The downside targets are uh, 345.13. So where do I get this number from? This number is derived from the extension of wave one and two, which is a quality of wave three, right? 100% extension, as you guys can clearly see here, is 345. So wave one and wave three will be equal to each other in length. All right, so that will bring us down towards the 345.13 before we can see a counter trend rally in the wave four before our next leg lower into the wave five. So I do expect more downside in this market. I will expect a little bit more push to the upside, maybe a little bit beyond the 38.2% retracement. I'll wait for that until tomorrow or next uh, next week's video. But for now, I will hold the 413 as my level of resistance. All right, jumping over to the triple Qs. Um, so here I had, I had look, so I, I'm just going to show you guys real quick something or something real quick. So I sent this chart out and this information at 12.30 p.m. today, right? So my thoughts, the markets have been rallying all morning with price action trading above and in diagonal and validation, which is what I showed you earlier. So call me crazy because, you know, some people might call me crazy, but I actually see that this upside, whatever rally we got today is of concern to me. All right, it's of concern to me. I don't think that where you see the highlighted blue area here is our ending was our ending trend, right? Um, this this three wave, like I noted here, this three wave move is not an ending. Ah, this three wave move does not end a trend. It looks like it's going to be correct. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's a long day, guys, and it's Thursday, and I'm going on vacation next week, so I won't be here to give you guys updates. So. Actually, I take that back. I can't give you guys updates next week because I will be on vacation. Um, first year anniversary, by the way. So anyway, so the rally from May 12th to the 17th, right, is in five and three waves. The rally from 17th to the 20th is in another three waves, right? That That's not a, a trend-making um, situation here. So for that reason and for that matter, I'm looking for more upside here between the 315 to 303 and the triple Qs before we are met with more downside to go, all right? So the downside targets, assuming, right? Assuming that three, the 38.2% retracement will be our resistance area, right? That's coming to get us towards the, uh, let's take a look here. So south of 241.70. 
All right, these markets are going to be bleeding out for the next couple of weeks. Maybe see a little bit more upside. Call me crazy, as I mentioned, but likely we're going to see more downside in this market in the foreseeable future. Now, I will work on a alternate account where maybe, just maybe, uh, May 20th was our low and we're now gearing up for the next leg higher, uh, which I doubt it because I just can't see I just can't see that happening at this point. All right, guys. So uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's it for me today, I guess. Uh, I'll try to update you guys tomorrow. Uh, I won't be here next week at all, uh, but we'll be paying attention to the Discord group. If you guys want LA, everyday LA Wave updates, just join and we'll see you there. Take care. Peace out.